at this telly company. Yeah. Doing a documentary. Who? Which one? Which one? Which I one? I don't know. No? What was the documentary about? About monkeys. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Where was Africa. it? Right. Where, when was this? I haven't got a date. Okay. Recently, though, since the advent of television, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, a bit of extra monkey news, if you, if you want it. <laughs> okay, always. Do you know the, um... Monkey news extra. Go on. Do you know the Halfords ads? Halfords ads? I don't think so, no. What happens? Halfords, they've, they've uh, you know, they sell nuts and bolts and stuff. Right. Uh, they were using monkeys in the ads. Okay. Um... Yeah. And what yeah. happened? Pack it. Don't they sell bikes, Halfords? Well, mainly <laughs> bicycles and and motorbike stuff in that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so they're using monkeys in the advert. What happened? <laughs> I can't handle it. What? I can't do this. Look what? at him. look at him. <laughs> I don't care what he's doing. And it, well, basically, right? They've uh, the uh, there was a load of asshole because they were using these monkeys in this alpha advert. <laughs> yes. Right. And what happened? Get to the point. It turned out there wasn't a problem because there were mechanics in the first place. Well, they were monkey mechanics. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mental. What are you talking about? That's not a story. Well, anyway, listen. Let's get let's get back on. <laughs> there were mechanics in the first place. All right. Listen. All right. So they're making this documentary. All right. And uh, they stumble across a, a little gang of uh, little gang. <laughs> Get on with it, please. Little, little gang of monkeys. That's yes. the first time I've ever laughed. I'll hear that. I know. Well, brilliant. What do you want, a cake? <laughs> Come on. Can we play a song? Oh. I don't understand what is wrong with you, you freak. It's making me laugh. <laughs> Just tell us the story. All right, then. All right. <clears throat> so, anyway, right, so there's this, this documentary being made. They found a little gang of monkeys. <laughs> Right, play a song. I don't know what's going on here. I apologise. Got a high to love away. According to the Beatles on XFM 104.9. I'm looking to with me, Steve Merchant. Right, Carl, come right, on. Where, monkey where news. Where Everyone's we? composed. The jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that. Monkey news. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Right. right, where were we? We were just start again. There's some people making a documentary. <laughs> for what? Okay. For... Making a documentary in, uh, in the jungle and that. Right. Stumble across a little gang. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. All right. Um, a little gang of monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. So the camera crew are there filming it. Yes. Everything's going normal. It's nothing, all nothing yeah. odd about it. Okay. <laughs> they don't. They're not running a restaurant. They've not got any barber shops. <laughs> nothing. No. Just regular monkeys going about their business. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, the what what normally happens is the monkeys st stick with the partner. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, you want. They, they don't sort of sleep around in that. Once they find, oh, right, they, they, were, once they they find the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever, yeah. they, st they stick with them, right? <laughs> okay. But anyway, they were watching this one, right? And uh, it's, it's going around a bit, sleeping around. Oi, oi. And it was getting fatter. <laughs> they thought, this is a bit odd. Yeah. Right? So uh followed it round <laughs> and uh, see it having it away. Turns out, little prostitute... <laughs> <laughs> It's a little monkey prostitute. And it was getting fatter because it was charging them bananas. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. <laughs> it's charging them bananas. <laughs> what was it, a boy or... It was a... Woman. Little woman monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most extraordinary monkey news I've ever heard. Oh, that is genius. Has this documentary been televised? Mm. Uh, I don't think it's been on yet. No, and that's all the information you've got. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. and is that that's um, that's one banana for everything? The half a banana is for just oral. Uh, a poor job, right? Um, if you want full blown uh, monkey sex, <laughs> it is two and a half bananas. Sure, sure. So, uh, Let's just play a song. Okay. <laughs> Let's just play. All right. Well, this is our penultimate show, which we'll be back next week. We're going to make it a barnstormer, I'm sure, lads. I want a hundred percent behind it. Hundred and ten percent. Next week, all right? None of this giggling, none of this infantile giggling, okay. like two schoolboys. Right. All right, we're going to come back, we're going to have some quality monkey news next week, we're going to have all kinds of treats, I would think. Okay. Some great prizes. All right? Are yeah. we okay? Yeah, we best show. Let's make next week the best show ever. Good luck. If you miss it, then you miss out. We're ending with a track from a couple of years back, I think it was 92, 93, uh, Dinosaur Junior, Start Chopping. Play that. Start playing. Forget Start <laughs> Chopping, start playing. All right. All right? See you next week. Yeah. <laughs> 
afternoon on the request hour. Ricky, you've got something to tell us. What? In your role as head of speech, yeah. you said you were going to speak. Oh, no, no, I've just got a, a fact story <laughs> about a new club. It's, it's a club I've um, already heard about. It's called the Chill Club, and it's um, upstairs um, at the King's Head, and it's sort of really laid back, and you go in and sit on scatter cushions and be hippie and, and chill out and drink till one and stuff. And uh, they have, like, little acoustic sessions, and um, that's uh, this Saturday, Saturday the 31st. Wait, I think I it's every other... I think it's every other Saturday at the King's Head in Fulham. Oh, right, yeah. And uh, um, I've heard good things about it. And it was sold out last week, so I said get there early. Doors are at um, 8.30 and a bar till uh, 1, no entrance after 11 p.m. And uh, it, it's a fiver. And oh, it's meant cool. to be really cool to sit down, sort of in a trip, hoppy, folky, portis, heady, jangly sort of stuff. Right up your street, Serges. Not Ooh. Ben's though, he likes clubbing, doesn't he? Late clubs with like loud music. And, he does, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. He get, goes Bolte to bed. didn't come out of Birmingham. Yeah, and talking about that, I mean, I st no one has phoned to confirm or deny. I the heard the dish, thing, so. well, not the actual dish, not the pot, not the lump of clay, but the stuff in it, the particular blend of herbs and spices that we now know as Bolte. Originated yeah, in, in Birmingham. Birmingham. And ruling it as valid. Maybe yeah. he's right. Hold on, no, because it's not the blender spot. It is the fact that it's called Bolty because you eat it out of the pot. And that I think he's right. You're embarrassing yourself now, Jermaine. Oh, God, I'm backtracking. But thinking about it, yeah, it's not the ingredients. It's The important thing is that it's cooked in that. And, of course, they didn't invent that there. They, I See, think he's right, Sturgis. Well, in that case... Slade it is, then. No, Black Sabbath. Slade, Slade. I'll get lost. Slade. Slade. And if we're counting Led Zeppelin, if we're counting, Le if we're counting Led Zeppelin, obviously Led Zeppelin. No. Black Sabbath. Sabbath are better than Zeppelin. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh, no. No. Oh, 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 come on. No, no. You're wrong. You're, you're having a mental aberration, if you think. Go on, give me an example. Well, there's a fantastic story. Uh, just the ludicrous, uh, ludicrousness. Is that right? Where's that word? Yeah, that's the word Ludicrosity. Now. That'll do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, the, Tony Iommi was asked when they hit big in America what it was like for Black Sabbath, and he said, oh, I was mad. We went back to the hotel, and there was like 10 satanists sitting outside the hotel room, all dressed in black with black candles. So he blew the candles out and sung happy birthday to them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So that but, is But Led Zeppelin said... And I think that sums it up. Are you squeezing your lemon? Yeah, I'm <laughs> squeezing my little lemon. I'm putting my little uh, cocktail <laughs> chipolata on the table, yeah. doing two pickled onions, and seeing if that and fat the juice is running down your leg. And, yeah, and the juice <laughs> is burning down my leg, indeed. Well, we've embarrassed ourselves. Yes. I think, in a way, we might have embarrassed XFM, and, and I, I know think certainly maybe, maybe, we've embarrassed yes. London. London. Yeah. XFM 104.9. It's just gone quarter past three on a Wednesday afternoon. It's the request hour. It's your choice of music. I think we'll have some more music now. This is for Gary O'Donnell, who says chocolate is the best thing to come out of Birmingham. I can't say the brand name because then apparently I'm advertising. But it's uh, like chocolate. Out of Bourneville. Yeah. That's not a little like you to advertise, is it, Sturge? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, no. 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no. no, Sturge, I wouldn't say you advertise. I wouldn't say at. I wouldn't say at. No. no. I would no. say at. I, I mean, you don't want to be pampered. No. 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 The sky's like, the limit. The yeah. sky is the limit. You know, uh, no. Exactly. It's like you've won the lottery. It's the dry wife week that I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Public enemy. Anthrax. Bring the noise. That's for uh, Gary O'Donnell this afternoon on the request hour. It's XFM 104.9. It's just gone 20 past three. Are we going to give away your uh, prize that you bought in yeah, specially? Yeah, we have a winner. Mark Adams from Harrow oh. with his undercracker explanation. Yeah. It is the same one that dropped off Duffo. Is it? He just called. Well, he's a star. He's won it. He'll be able to... Uh, <laughs> Gary's voice check challenge. How good are you at imitating comedian Michael Barrymore? Try this famous catchphrase. All right. You'll be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, You'll yeah, be able to impress that. your friends and yeah, family. That's yeah. just it's like, I can do it. All right. See? Bro, bro, <laughs> yeah. Can where I is he? Where, where's where's Barrymore? Yeah. Where, where, where is he? Well, he's at the what? back. Are you, are, are you all right at the back? And, then? and obviously Norman yeah. Collier. Wow. Norman Collier. Like that. That's Norman Collier there. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Hey, my name is Michael Caine. So, yeah. Hey, yeah. it's like he's in the studio. Actually, it is nice to see you, Claire, to see you um, nice. 
Oh, oh these are great that's tips. Brilliant. Yeah. He, he didn't just he didn't well I have to keep Why taking off playing? the pop shield. <laughs> I know because I can hit it and be normal.